but we will continue our section in the next book in our section chemis bucas chemis positive periodic solution uh, for a neutral delay uh, <laughs> hypothesis model excuse me hello everyone First of all, let me thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to present my work today. My name is Marwa Khmis. I'm first year PhD student at 20 August 1955 Skigda University from Algeria. Today, I would like to talk about positive periodic solution for neutral delay hematopoiesis model. And I'm going to focus on five main parts. In the beginning of my talk, I want to clearly briefly our considered model. Next, I will give some preliminaries that we will use in this work. The third part will be devoted to presenting our results on existence of the positive periodic solution. While the existence and uniqueness result will be proved in the fourth part. And the last part will be a short conclusion. So let me start by presenting our model. In this work, we consider the following first order neutral differential equation with iterative terms, such that this term is the second iterate of X and H is the harvesting function. This model, which can describe the production of white blood cells is a special type of the following first order neutral functional differential equation with time variant lag and time and state dependent delay. In medical terms, X of T is the density of matter white blood cells in blood circulation at time T. A of T is the rate of lost cells from the circulation. P of T is the production rate. This term is the flux of the cells into the circulation from stem, the stem cell compartment, where tau1, which gave rise to the appearance of the second iterate and describes the mean duration of the proliferative phases. And the other delay represents a transit time required to release matter cells into the circulating bloodstream. This concludes the first part. Now, Let's turn to the next section. In this section, we consider the following closed convex and bounded subset of the following Banach space of all T periodic continuous functions equipped with the Superman norm. Furthermore, we consider the following assumptions, C1, C2, and C3, with adapting the following notations for ease of exposition. As you can see from lemma one, we can point out that finding a periodic solution of, the of our equation one is equivalent to finding a periodic solution of the following integral equation, where the obtained kernel here is a Green's function and it's given by this expression. Also, it's worth mentioning that the kernel G satisfies the following property. Let's now move on to the third part. The main goal of this part is to establish some sufficient conditions that ensure the existence of positive periodic solutions for equation one. And for achieving this last one, we will use an efficient technique based on Krasnowski's fixed point theorem combined with Green's functions method. In order to achieve our task and from lemma one, we define two operators, R1 and R2, by expressions 9 and 10. And based on the periodic properties, we get that the last operators, R1 and R2, and R2 are well defined. And for applying Krasnowski's fixed point theorem, we have to mention that the application of this theorem is equivalent to check these following conditions. Indeed, lemmas 3 and 4, which provide conditions 5, 4, 5, and 6, that ensure first condition of Krasnowski's fixed point theorem. Lemma 5, 
proves that R2 is a contraction operator, while lemma six clearly shows that R1 is a completely continuous under the Lipschitz condition three. The proof of this lemma is based on arzela scoli theorem. So by virtue of arzela scoli theorem, D is a compact subset of the Banach space. And since any continuous operator maps every compact set into a compact one, then to show that R1 is a compact operator, it suffices to show that it is continuous. Indeed, we have this estimation, which shows that R1 is a continuous and therefore compact. So as a result from the previous lemmas three to six, we conclude that all conditions of Krasnowski's fixed point theorem are satisfied. So the operator R1 plus plus R2 admits at least one fixed point, which is the positive periodic solution of our equation one. Now moving on to the fourth part. For the existence and uniqueness results, and then the Lipschitz condition, and this estimate, then the mapping R1 plus R2 is a contraction. So by virtue of Banach contraction principle, we can, we can deduce that equation one has one and only one positive periodic solution. To conclude, I would like to recap the main steps followed in establishing our main findings. So as I said at the beginning, our key task in this work is to prove existence and uniqueness of a positive periodic solution for our hematopoiesis model by using an efficient technique based on Krasnowski's fixed point theorem, as well as Green's function method. It consists to convert the problem at hand into an equivalent integral equation, next with the help of some useful properties of the obtained Green's kernel, Ascoli Arzella theorem, and under some assumptions, we succeeded in constructing two mappings well defined. In other words, we defined operators R1 and R2, where R1 is a completely continuous and R2 is a contraction. Finally, we have concluded that all conditions of Krasnowski's fixed point theorem were satisfied. So if X is a fixed, is a fixed point of the, operate, the operator R1 plus R2, then X is a solution of the integral equation, hence also of our problem. On the other hand, and under an additional condition, and by virtue of contraction mapping principle, the operator R1 plus R2 has unique fixed point in D, which is the unique solution of our equation one. Here are some of our main references. And thank you very much for your attention. And I see your references. Yeah. You would like to ask? Okay. Mr. Shadev, you would like to ask some questions? No, no, just I wanted to see the references, how oh, it is okay. going. It's okay, okay. 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 The region looks good, actually. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. The thank thing you. is that the equation what I've considered that forces you to go to apply these two theorems, especially Lidus order alternative, Lidus order alternative property or Krasinski fixed point theorem. Sorry, sorry, could you repeat, no please? No, the equation what you've considered, the integral equation also what you've got that forces you to consider these two theorems only, right? You cannot use other theorems, other fixed point theorems. Uh, is this your question that I use Krasnowski's fixed point theorem or what? Yeah, can you use other, other fixed point theorems here? Yes, can be applied by adding other conditions, maybe not uh, be suitable for our conditions, obtained conditions in this work. But the green response and the integral equation you are getting, it is all looks something different here. Can you see the, can, you, can you show us the green uh, the integral equation? Can you show me the integral equation one second, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you. Here, yes. Yeah, here it is. That right. Uh -huh. Yeah, because of this R one and R two, this forces you to apply these two theorems only. Uh, either Banach contraction principle 
और लिडरेस आउट और अल्टरनेटिव प्रिंसिपल और क्रेशन सेल्स के फिक्स पॉइंट कह रहा हूँ क्रेशन सेल्स के हेज ए डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फिक्स पॉइंट कह रहा हूँ नंबर ऑफ फिक्सड पॉइंट थ्योरम बट दिस पर्टिकुलर फिक्सड पॉइंट थ्योरम यू आर यूजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आर वन एंड आर टू यस ओके इट्स ओके गुड रिजल्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके आदर क्वेश्चंस नो इफ नॉट लेट्स सिंक वंस मोर मोर फॉर योर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉक